Hey everybody, Alex here, and welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn's unboxing. Um, as you can see, I've already opened it because the game's actually on in the background. Um, I had to load it up and everything, but we are going to unbox it. Now, I worked extremely hard to get myself the Collector's Edition, and it came this morning. It was very late. Uh, it is the third currently, so it came a little bit late, but anyway. So first up we got, um, I'll, I'll try and go through it all in order. We got the game in a steelbook. Now I'm sure if you know what steelbooks are, then you know what steelbooks are. But it's um, like a steel case, pretty graphic. Standard PlayStation case, but it's just in a fancier box. Um, so, code. Um, on the inside, you have nice little scenery type thing. And as I said, I've already got the game in the PlayStation. So that's the steel book. We also got an art book that has cat hair on it. And this art book, although I am personally not super, super crazy in art books, it's it's nice. It's from uh, Dark Horse Books. And if I can get a page open for you, skip to the back. Oh, here we go, perfect, because we already know like the monsters and stuff. So we've got, it's, it's a nice book. And then we have, now I've half opened it, but I haven't fully opened it. It comes in a nice little clothing. Actually, no, it doesn't come in only that. Inside this box, you have this box. And inside that, you had this foam. Inside the foam, we had, ready, ready, Aloy. Now, I'm going to get... Uh, I'm showing you this now, but I'm going to get some really close-up video shots of the detail. But for now, um, I've got that still on at the moment. Um, as I said, I've only half unboxed it. I wanted to make sure everything was there, uh, how everything worked, and get the game out. So... It's nicely enclosed and I opened the wrong end. There we go. Alright, so this is Alo. Now it is made out of a plastic, if you can hear it. It's made out of a, a hard, heavy plastic. So she's nice. It's nice. It's, it's actually the bowstring is elastic, so it's actually like movable. Um, I don't know if anyone's mentioned that before. I did not know that. Um, it's all, it's really well set up. She's got a little ribbon, I don't know if you can see that here, hanging off the bow. She's got some beads on there. Got one arrow in there. Now, there is, where were they? Ah, here they are. Two additional arrows. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it for the price I paid to get it. If um, no one follows me generally on the internet, uh, I wanted this pre-order back in last year when it was available, but EB Games in Australia didn't have any because I had never done a pre-order before. Just watch me argue with the knife. There we go. Because I had never done a pre-order before, uh, I wasn't able to get one. So then I finally found one on Amazon, but then I had the downloadable contents, which I'll get into in a minute. We're not able to work in Australia without an American account, and I didn't want to argue with that, so. Okay, so these go in if we can focus. There's a little hole here. We can line it up. That goes in there. And the other one goes in in oh I was right next to it. 
and that is how they fit. Although I think, yep, that's how they fit. All right, so additional to this, we got Additional to this, we got three sets of downloadable content codes. Now the first one is the blue one, and I got this in the actual EB Games box. This one came with the Nora Long Shot Bow and the Nora Outlook Outfit in the one that I got for EB Games. That was like an exclusive like pre-order type downloadable content. Next up we have the limited edition. Uh, with this one you get the steel book, the art book, which you've both seen already. You get a PS4 theme, which I will show you now. You also get the Kaja Storm Rangers and the Banuk, I think it's Banuk, Trailblazers outfit. You get the Kaja Mighty Bow and the Banuk Culling Bow. And you get the Kaja Traders and the Banuk Travelers Pack. So you get all of that with the uh, limited edition one pack thing. What you're currently looking at is the Kaja Storm Rangers outfit, which to me looks like a bit of a rooster type style. It's the red, it's got like the kind of pointed tassel -y bits on the skirt. But uh, yeah, that's what we get with the collector's edition and the uh, limited edition. So I showed you a little bit of this. And she's got claws on her feet on this one. And a weird thing on her head. But that was that outfit. The next one we have a look at is the Banuk Trailblazer outfit. Now this one's more blue. It's got like a fur type hanging around everywhere. And it's got like two big tassel -y things going down from the back. And it's got what reminds me of like um, horns kind of on the forehead, on the head. So that's the Banuk Trailblazer outfit. A lot of armor on it, a lot of fur. So yeah, that's another one that you get free as a downloadable content when you pay money for the pack. So it's not really free. You have to get all of these things in tokens and you have to take the tokens to a merchant and the merchant will then trade you the tokens for the actual outfit so you don't automatically download it straight away which I had to look up because I did not know how to get it and this is the Nora outfit that we talked about earlier and I fell off here because well I was still learning how to do everything and now we have the collector's edition we'll start off with the theme uh, this theme is more of a darker one like you got with the outside box that came with the statue and you've got like um, dark background with like a yellowy gold um, triangle theme around everywhere. And you've got the gold icons, writing and everything. you just got Aloy in the back in like a silhouette type shadow type thing, if I can describe that right. What are you looking at it right now? So that's what that is. Um, the theme, I, I didn't like this one as much as the other one. I like the other one's artwork type more. But um, yeah, I'm just going through the settings, seeing if anything looked extremely different to what you would see on the other one. And that's why I'm getting lost in the settings. So overall, you get the Collector's Edition comes with a statue and a theme, along with the Limited Edition that you get the steel book, the art book, you get the theme for the limited edition as well. You also get the Kaija Storm Rangers and the Banuk Trailblazers outfit, the Kaija Mighty Bow and the Banuk Culling Bow, and the Kaija Traders and the Banuk Travelers Pack. That's all included in both when you get the collector's edition, otherwise you just get the limited and you don't get the statue or the collector's theme. And for EB Game exclusives, at least for Australia, you got the Nora Long Shot Bow and the Outlook sorry the lookout outfit um, I'm not quite sure if you get any other themes around the other side of the world if you do and you're watching this let me know what you got but that is all I'm going to wrap this up I hope this is somewhat informative for you guys if you wanted to see the different aspects of what you actually get in the pack digital and physical 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, if there's any questions or anything like that. I have still to explore a lot of the game. I'm only partway through like the beginning of the main quest line, so I am going to be enjoying that for a very long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again for following, for watching, for supporting and everything like that. Hope you guys have a good one. Be good to people and I will catch you guys later. See ya!